Hi, I'm Natalie and I lead Liverpool Heart and Chest Resuscitation Service and I'm just going to talk to you today about the management of choking and basic life support in an infant and child. Thankfully, cardiac arrest in children doesn't happen very often. It's a very infrequent event and it's not for the same reasons that cause cardiac arrest in adults. It's normally trauma or because they lack oxygen going to their brain. We class an infant as age under one. The first thing to do once you've assessed if it's safe to approach is to get a response. To do that, if you clap in the baby's face, they should startle. You can flip their feet or gently pull their hair. If there's no response, you must ring 999 straight away and put your phone on loudspeaker and listen to the operator's instructions. You're then going to open the baby's airway just by gently putting it in the neutral position so everything stays in line and you're going to look to see if the chest is moving up and down. If the baby doesn't look a nice pink colour or they're grunting or gasping or there is no breathing at all, you are now going to give the baby five breaths. Using your mouth, you're going to make a seal round their nose and mouth and breathe five times, just enough to see that chest rise and fall. If the baby doesn't respond, i.e. start crying, you're now going to perform some chest compressions. We're going to concentrate on the lower third of the sternum and with your ring finger, you're going to find where the sternum starts, i.e. the zippy sternum. Two fingers up from there, you're going to compress the chest down four centimetres at a speed of 100 to 120 a minute to the tune of staying alive. If you can remember, just do 15 of those. If you do 30, it doesn't matter. Once you've completed the chest compressions, you're then going to give the baby two breaths. So just to be clear, it's five initial breaths 15 compressions and then we're going to keep a ratio of 15 to 2, 15 to 2. For the older child, so that's 1 to 18, however, teenagers are as big as us sometimes, so if they look like an adult, treat them as an adult. You're going to check for a response, hello, can you hear me? If there is no response, you're going to again ring for help, dial 999 and listen to what the operator tells you. To open the airway in a child, it's slightly more flexed in a sniffing position. And again, you're going to look at the chest and look at the color of the child. If the child isn't pink and the chest isn't moving normally, or they're grunting or gasping, again, you're going to breathe for the child. The anatomy of the child has changed to the point where you can now squeeze their nose and making a seal with your mouth round theirs, you're going to give them five breaths again. Just enough to see their chest rise and fall. If they don't start crying or making purposeful movements, start compressions. With the heel of your hand in the lower third of the sternum, you're going to compress the chest five centimetres at still the same speed of 100 to 120 a minute. You do 15 of these, but again, if you do 30, it does not matter. Once you've done your chest compressions, again, you then give them two breaths and you carry on with a ratio of 15 compressions to two breaths until your help arrives. For the management of choking in an infant, they're not going to have an effective cough. So supporting the jaw with your hand, ideally pop them over your knee and in between the shoulder blade with the heel of your hand, you're going to deliver up to five back blows. After you've done your five back blows, you're going to ring 999 and call for help. Turn the baby over, use gravity as your friend and in between the nipple line, you're going to administer up to five chest thrusts. This is a bit like slow CPR. After five attempts of those, you're going to revert back to the back blows. Two things will happen, either the object will come out 
or the child will then become unresponsive, floppy, not looking a good colour and you move into the basic life support algorithm as previously demonstrated. The choking algorithm for a child is exactly the same as it is for an adult. If they've got an effective cough, i.e. something's going in, something's going out in terms of air, then let them cough. If not, you're going to have to intervene. Again, you're going to bend them over and with the heel of your hand deliver up to five back blows as hard as you dare. When you've done five of those, you're going to revert to what we call abdominal thrust. Using your two hands in between the belly button and where the sternum starts, if you imagine a backwards J, you're going to deliver up to five abdominal thrusts. Once you've done five of those, if the object still hasn't been removed, you revert back to the back blows and you keep alternating between the two processes. Again, one or two things are happen. The object will either expel or they will lack oxygen to the brain and collapse and then you're into the basic life support algorithm. Even if the object has successfully been expelled, please don't delay the help, make sure that the child has been properly assessed by a medical professional. Thank you.